Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be decluttering this cupboard over here. Hi, my name is Gabby and this is my YouTube channel. I've got over 300 binge-worthy videos for you to watch already up on my channel and I plan on posting 3 videos every single week on the following topics. Daily Diaries of a Namibian Mom, My Weight Loss Journey and Cook With Me videos. Subscribe to my channel to find out more. Okay guys, welcome to this clean and declutter with me video. If it's your first time here, my name is Gabby. Hi, I'm a Namibian mom. I film my daily diaries, uh, my weight loss journey, as well as cook with me videos. So if you like that kind of content, please do subscribe. But yeah, anyways, it has just been a very long time since I have gone over this cupboard and cleaned and organized it. Um, you guys know my mom has not been feeling very well and so I have been more involved in the kitchen and I just decided, you know, it's time to clean out these kitchen cabinets and organize them again and refill the containers. Like you can see all the containers are stuck there in the back of the cabinet and they're basically empty so I've just gone and removed all of the containers from the cabinet everything make sure that it is all emptied out so that I can just go ahead and give the cabinets a good um, wipe down wait I'm not sure are these cabinets are they cupboards are they is it a pantry what would you call this but yeah kitchen cupboards uh, is what I'm gonna call it for the rest of the video so I was just wiping it down here. I made a little mixture with a bowl of water and um, bleach. And then I would wipe the cupboard down, go rinse my cloth in the bleach water, come back, wipe it down again and repeat. Okay, initially I thought I was only going to do this one cabinet uh, because when you do a cleaning and decluttering session, it can become really overwhelming. Like this was very overwhelming for me. There were times where I would just sit and stare and not know where to begin and not know what to touch and not know what to put where and what to do with the stuff. So um, like here you see me just staring and being overwhelmed and not knowing even where to start. Um, but yeah, you gotta just start somewhere and I was busy taking the cinnamon sticks and putting them in this jar. I found a jar full of cinnamon sticks and then I found a packet of cinnamon sticks. Um, here we should show you guys how much I was sweating and yeah. Also, if you're from South Africa, Cape Town specifically, and you know Osman's store, I'm not sure in what area it is of Cape Town, but it's Osman's. There is like a market and they've got all sorts of spices and things and it's really affordable. Every time my parents go to Cape Town, they always go and buy spices and things at Osman's. And you will see that um, all throughout this video, there are various packets of spices from Osman's. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but please do correct me if I didn't say it right. In this part of the video, I was just um, refilling the containers. As you can see, I found a packet of um, self-raising flour and I had to put that in the container. I sifted it first though. And then I added this cake flour to the cake flour container. And I filled up the macaroni container. And then I went on to fill up the rice container as well. I was just basically refilling all of the containers here so that I can put them back nice and full. As I said, a declutter session like this can be really overwhelming. So I would recommend that you start with one small section and then just take it from there. But once I finished the ones that are the cabinets, I really was like motivated to do the second side. So you will see later in the video that I did the other side as well. But yeah, here I am just continuing to refill the containers. Um, there were a lot of packets in the cabinets and there were a lot of empty containers. So 
I just had to take everything that were in the packets and put them in the containers and store them nicely. This was another big bag of cinnamon powder from Osman's or Osman's, however you say that, in Cape Town, South Africa. And um, yeah, my parents bought like big packets of spices, small packets of spices, and they just always stock up when they go there. At this point, I had to give Willow a job to do because she wanted to come help me and she would have just poured all of the stuff all over the place. So I told her to wash the dishes and that kept her really busy. Yeah, here I'm just going through these boxes of containers that um, I previously put in there to organize the spices and things. I was just wiping down everything and then cleaning the container and then putting everything back and organizing it nicely. Literally all these little packets that were in this container were from that store in Cape Town and I just previously put them in this container to keep them organized so they don't fall over the place in the cupboards. But yeah, and then I just put them back in there. So this is what the one container was looking like and then I just started putting everything back in. There was only a little bit of pink Himalayan salt left in this little container that's why it kind of looks empty but I couldn't find a small thing to put it in so I just left it in there for now Next I went and tackled this little spice rack that stands um, on the cabinet next to, on the countertop next to the um, stove and I just went and wiped everything down and anything that I felt like needed to go somewhere else I just organized that and um, yeah made it look much better, much organized, put things away where they belong. This was also not part of the original plan. But that's usually what happens with decluttering is once you start going and you tell yourself you know what i'm only gonna target this small little area and once you start going and you're in that momentum you will see that you won't want to stop and you'll just keep going so this is what it was looking like this will be much better than before way more organized i just wanted to show you like every little container I had these spice packets from osman's um, in them but I didn't even bother going through that one I just closed it back up again and it will probably stay like that until my next decluttering session here I'm just showing you these little containers of spices that are in this bucket these are the teas and how I organize them we have all these different kinds of teas um, let me know what kind of tea do you like and if you know any of these teas and drink any of these teas. 
But yeah, I love the chai tea, the rooibos, the five roses chai tea. Um, and my mom is loving the lemon and ginger tea at the moment. We also have these medicine boxes which I organize here with all of our food colorings and essence and things like that. So here you just see me putting everything back into the second kitchen cupboard, trying to organize it and make it look real good and feel good as well. There were these two packets of caster sugar and icing sugar. I couldn't find containers for them, so I just kept them in their packets for now until I can go to the store and buy some containers for them. At this point, I was mostly done and I was just doing some tidying up of the kitchen to make everything look much more clean and organized. And yeah, I will show you guys what the final result looked like.